morning everyone so uh, this is a quick uh, product review um, so as you can see I've got five bikes nicely lined up not using a massive amount of space in this very small area I am <laughs> uh, so to support the bikes like this I use a, a bike the bike nook bike stand which um, looks like an L shape with a cross bit so L with a cross bit um, they work quite well, uh, 40 quid each, um, unless you go for the Pro one, which is 50 quid are the difference. These are the normal ones, and the Pro one gives you this piece of crap, which um, doesn't really do anything. So save yourself 10 quid if you're going to buy, um, get the Pro ones. Um, maximum width tyre, 2.4, which suits me, because that's about the widest I normally ride. I only got to 2.5 if I'm going to a... Uh, a bike park with an uplift day um, as you can see I've got a half decent overlap they do come with these long um, velcro straps which for these two bikes here my uh, Saracen Aerial LTs um, they're not long enough uh, they're just about long enough for the Raglis um, but I, I, to be honest I can't be asked most of the time to uh, to put them on um, they tend to self support largely anyway um they claim to fit any bike they don't so the exception being my uh, my e-bike which is exceptionally long anyway um so yeah it's probably not a fair fair bracket but very very long chain stay so it, it doesn't um it doesn't fit with these uh, these bike nook things um, what else can I say? You know, Forty quid, suspend your bike up like that. Does the job generally. If you've got an overly long bike, no good for you. But if you've got a relatively normal bike like these lots, then uh, work very very well.